Hey guys, welcome back. So if you're like me, when you're walking through the garden, not only do you like to look at beautiful flowers, you also like to have nice scents to smell and grab hold of as you brush through the garden. This one's tarragon, a culinary herb. And not only is it beautiful in cooking, it's also beautiful smelling. And one tip for those parents out there trying to get their kids in the garden, it smells like licorice. Not only does it smell beautiful, it's super easy to strike from cutting. So let's get stuck into it today. We'll get some cuttings. Alrighty. So I've got my secateurs here. And where you want to cut is not right up the top on the super soft green stuff. You want to go for what they call semi hardwood. And down here, where you can see somewhat of a bark, that's your hardwood. Then you have semi hardwood and soft tip cuttings. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe a pencil length, something like that. Doesn't really matter, just give it a go. Chop him off like that. And we'll get a couple more, something like that. So, there you go. I got say three, four, four cuttings there. We'll jump up to the nursery and um, I'll show you what I do next. All right, so we're at the nursery, getting ready to pot up. Now I've got my cuttings. I've got some secateurs that I used to cut them off with. I've got my potty mix and a pot that they're gonna go into. Seriously guys, it's as simple as this. Just give it a crack. Obviously certain plants will strike a lot easier than other plants, but honestly, if you just do some Google searches, see if you can propagate from cuttings, just give it a go. So there we go, we've got a pot there full of soil. Now you can use what people call a dibble stick, which is pretty much just a stick that you use to make a hole in like that, and you place the cutting in. In my opinion, if the cutting is strong enough, and it's not flimsy and whatnot, you can just jam him straight in there. So right over, we've got one, we've got two, three, pull the leaves off, pull some of the lower leaves off so they don't get buried, um, four. And then what happens with cuttings is they lose their moisture, obviously they've been cut off the mother plant through evaporation through the leaves. So just, just take a couple off. These aren't the sharpest pair of secateurs. Take a couple off. Right, oh, no. rip a reader, that's done. Now. Put that somewhere, give them a good drink, and put that somewhere, preferably with a bit of humidity, um, and that will help with the uh, strike rate. Now, I'll show you the same method I did 10 days ago. Exactly the same, what I did 10 days ago. The same plant, same technique. Look at that, roots coming out the bottom. Good indication, they're ready to go. So what I can do from now, and pull them out and I can break these apart look at that brand new plants now these can be potted up into pots given to friends and family and spread that beautiful licorice scent around happy gardening guys <laughs> 